please stand for a moment of silence, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The cafeteria is running low on our supply of disposable water bottles. Students, please remember to bring a refillable water bottle to school, especially for refilling at lunch. Thank you. Students, please check at home for library books that you may have and bring them into the IMC to return as soon as possible. If you'd like to renew a book because you are still reading it, you may do that as well. Students who are learning remotely may drop off library books in the main office during school hours. Students are doing a great job with the new re online reading app, Sora. If you are searching for a book on Sora and can't find it, email the book title and author to Ms. Farnworth to request the ebook. Keep reading, Cardinals, and have a great day! For today's moment in Black history, we celebrate Amanda Gordon. She was born and raised in Los Angeles, California. She graduated with a degree in sociology from Harvard. She, was, she has performed at the Obama White House and most recently the Biden inaugura inauguration along with other political events. Amanda pinned the Nike 2020 Black History Month manifest manifesto. She was named first youth poet librette by the Library of Congress in Urban Word in 2017. At the current age of 22, she was named the youngest inaugural poet in United States history. You will have the opportunity to see her recite an original poem at the 50th Super Bowl pregame show in a few weeks. Here's one of her original poems, Talking Gets Us There. It's normal to notice what makes us different because what's make, what makes us different is what each of us is what makes each of us so special. There is a beauty in every type of face, in every type of freckle. From the curl of your hair to the color of your skin, no one is exactly the same, not even twins. But across time and place, people have been treated unfairly just because of their race. So heroes get into good trouble. They have to they have to struggle for a long while. But when they win, it's worth every mile. People of color still experience racism racism today. So it is up to uh, to all of us to say enough is enough. To to speak out of our hearts and that starts at home. It starts when it start with it start with it start with it starts with asking questions about race when we're taught about it. Together I know we can tackle racism, but first we have to talk about it. Attention High Flying Cardinals. Our soaring into February character trait is empathy. Empathy is the ability to place oneself in another's position. When we put ourselves in another person's shoes, we are often more sensitive to what that person is experiencing and are less likely to tense or bully them. By explicitly teaching students to be more conscious of other people's feelings, we can create a more accepting and respect respectful school community. Attention 8th grade students, it is almost time for high school scheduling. Please see below for important information. Wednesday, February 3rd, math teachers will post an informational video recording on Canvas provided by SHS counselors that will address the scheduling process and high school related information. February 4th and 5th, SHS counselors will address all 8th grade students on Google Meets through their math classes and assist them at understanding how to complete their online schedule planning Google form. All students should plan to attend. Friday, February 5th at 6 p.m., a parent orientation video and scheduling link to the Google form to schedule for high school classes will be sent through Parent Square and Student Square to 8th grade parents and students. 
Plan to begin scheduling as soon as your parents watch the orientation video. Wednesday, February 10th. Deadline for all students to submit their online scheduling Google form. Please note that classes fill up pretty fast, so you want to complete the process as soon as possible. Please email Ms. Brunson at bbrunson at perryschools.org. If you have any questions about this, happy scheduling! It's time again for Cardinals to show how much we care by wearing jeans. We will have our next Cardinal Cares Days on Thursday, February 4th and Friday, February 5th. Students will be able to donate a dollar in order to wear jeans without rips and tears, and either a collared shirt or SMS spirit wear shirt. This month's Cardinal Cares Days will support American Heart Association. What do these movies have in common? Monsters in the Snow. Join the Monster Movie Club on Friday, February 5th at 3.15 after school in room A203 to watch one of these fan favorite films that all have monsters and milk in frosty wonderlands. That's one way to see some snow this winter. If you don't already have a permission slip on file, see Mr. Mobley in A203 or email him at kmobley at perryschools.org. For two nights only, we are allowing students to purchase advanced sales tickets to two upcoming games, girls basketball versus Perry Meridian on Thursday, February 4th, and boys basketball on Monday, February 8th. Both games start at 6 p.m. with pickup time at 8.15 p.m. The girls game will be played at Perry Meridian High School and the boys game will be played at Southport High School. Tickets are $5 for each night. Tickets will not be offered at either high school on the night of the events. Tickets will go on sale during lunch periods from February 1st through February 5th. A limited set of 75 tickets are available for each night. Once again, these are advanced sales tickets only. A limited number of adult tickets may be purchased starting February 3rd, girls, and February 7th, boys, on our Pay K-12 digital ticketing website. Teachers, please make sure every student is wearing a lanyard around their neck with their barcode attached. If a student does not have a lanyard, they may go down to student services to purchase one for $2. They may also get a replacement barcode. Students, please be sure to take your Chromebooks and charger with you home after each in-person learning day.